Well, needless to say, it has been an unexpected and bumpy and exciting ride, much like an airplane heading into Denver, but we've made it to the playoffs. I'm sitting here with my bowl full of tater tots, and we're going to play some playoff games today. I'm stoked. Just kidding. We're playing Luton, not, not Stoke. Sorry for the confusion. Good God almighty, this is episode number 52 of Taskmaster FC. I am so excited to bring you along with us today because we have two games against Luton Town because we somehow, in some way, shape, or form, made the playoffs. You were here for our last run of form, our last two games, a 2-0 win against West Bromwich Albion. 1-0 1-0 win away against Bristol City. It put us into the sixth position, which means we will be playing the third position, Luton Town. We have the home leg of the match first. I don't know exactly of the, the rules here with the two ties. Let me just see here. Playoffs. What's the rule with, like, who wins? Okay, so extra time if scores are level after 90 minutes. So it doesn't like I see any like home advantage here or like a away rules. I think that was away goals. That's what it was called. It was away goals rule that was really big in like the Europa and the, the Champions League, that type of stuff. There used to be an away goals, goals rule, and I think that's changed. So it's really just who has the more goals. At the end, if it's extra time, we'll play, or end of 90 minutes, we'll play some extra time. And if not, we'll go to a penalty shootout. So, yeah, I think we're good here. Um Gosh, it's just kind of nerve-wracking to see that we've we've made it this far. Now, again, expectations. I always like to temper expectations. I know I do it often, but I'm not expecting anything out of this at all. I mean, if we we've come so far this season, I'm so proud of this team. the The goal is to keep a good chunk of the core together, and again, continue to accentuate what we already have, and continue to grow and develop these players into something that can be promotable, so to speak. Is that a word, promotable? Somebody check the Oxford English for that. That being said, I think this is the team I want us to face. Are there any holes, any gaps here that I see that we can move in here? Asim Chowdhury, nine nine days, might be able to come in in the second match, but I think this is what we're going to go with here. Does this work? John Kern's good there. Is Aaron Chen good there? Um... I guess so. I guess this is what we're going to do. All right. Balance mentality because Luton Town's better than us. We, Even though we are at home, balance mentality is the way to go. All right. Birch and goal. Aleshe, Perkins, Nappet, and Levine are our defensive back line. Our central midfielders are Tim Vine and Bob Mortimer. John Kearns and Aaron Chen are our wingers. And May Martin and Emma City up top. Okay. Submit the team. Smile and nod. And hope for the best. This is exciting. I know I say that a lot, but... I want you to leave your mark here like a hickey. That's exciting. All right. Uh, hard work and training. Geared towards goals. God, let's see what happens. I apologize if you hear my neighbors. They are currently removing their pool. So if you hear any deconstruction taking place, it's not me having a mental breakdown. It's my neighbors taking apart their pool. So there's that. Speaking of that, we have a corner here. Mortimer into the box. Ends up being cleared out. Is Tim Vine going to be the first to get to it? He is, and he's going to look like to work the ball back to the keeper. Desiree Burks then works it out to Babatunde Aleshe, who is looking for some help over the top. Aaron Chen pushes it back to Levine. Gets it back to Chen down the right-hand side here. Floats something to the box. Mortimer scores. It's 1-0. It is 1-0. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but it's 1-0. Chesham United over Luton Town. Great ball here. 1-2 touch. Chen and Levine. Chen down the line, who's been an Excellent replacement for Awesome Chowdhury over the last couple of games here. Been an absolute monster on that right-hand side. Gets it to Bob Mortimer lurking around the six-yard box and just a nice little tap. Tucks it home. It's 1-0 Chesham United. It looks like you might have an instant reply from Luton Town. Ooh, very, very close. I think Birch managed to get a hand on it. Again, I know I've said it many times, but Desiree Birch, our goalkeeping, has been nothing but superb. You know, we've been pretty decent offensively. We've had lots of goals from lots of different players. You're talking Emma City, May Martin, John Kearns, even Asim Chowdhury, uh, Bob Mortimer, all of these players scoring goals for us so far this season. Uh, but it's been our defense that's really kept us in games. Uh, Desiree Birch with the penalty shootout saves has been absolutely phenomenal. And, um, yeah, we're still up 1-0. 
It uh, looks like Luton are going to get a highlight now. Ball appears to be cleared, but Luton managed to retain possession. I really like to go into halftime with the 1-0 lead, but it looks like a ball's going to get in the box. Looks like it takes a good deflection. Jessica Knapp had wonderful work there, and a corner will be had by Luton Town. We're going to go ahead and change that to play for set pieces because I know we're, we're good with the set pieces. We're good with the corners. We just need to, to get them. Um, lots of very good opportunities from them so far this season. Not that we haven't scored from open play, but we certainly like our opportunities with our set pieces, our free kicks, corners, and the like. Four minutes of extra time here as we head into the last bits of the first half. It's a 1-0 lead for Chesham United. Pretty good so far. Luton Town, albeit above on XG, but our possession's been similar. Our pass completion's been similar. Luton's got three yellow cards, so if we can... Really find that extra gear and really, oh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's not going to be good. I do not need unsure and unhappy or unsure and disheartened. Oh, God. this is, I could not have pressed that at a worse possible time. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's going to bite me in the butt, but, you know, tis life. They'll get over it in 10 minutes and we'll move on, provided that Luton just don't score within the first 10 minutes. We're going to be good. Turn those frowny faces upside down in three, two, one, go. Okay, no, they're still sad and upset. Okay, there's a smile. There's a smiley face. Deska nap it. Maybe not so much. Not a whole lot going on this second half other than just a bunch of yellow cards for Luton. I'm wondering if we might be able to get somebody sent off if we continue to apply pressure. They are playing very, very aggressively with five yellow cards so far. Let's say they are going to start playing a little bit more of an attacking mentality. May Martin get on the hand. Oh, good job by May Martin getting open. Got a header on it, but unfortunately could not target the goal. And uh, looks like Luton Town with a goal kick here. Managed to retain possession from a long goal kick. You do not see that very often. We do try to intercept Vine. Tries to get into the way there and does force a back pass. But unfortunately cannot retain possession. And Luton still with the ball here. Really just kind of dilly-dallying in the midfield. Really would like to try to keep a clean sheet today if possible. Nappeth now gets the ball to Chen to Mortimer. Gets the ball over the top. Is May Martin going to get on that? Ooh, wow, that is a very, very, very dangerous tackle. I'm shocked that is just a yellow card, and it is going to be red as he is sent off. May Martin cringing in pain. Sorry, I paused that because I, I think I might want to make some adjustments here. I don't, May Martin appears to be fine, but that is a tackle that has no place on the soccer pitch. So not only will that player miss out on today's game, is it one of their key players? I don't know. I mean, 7.6, I mean, goodness gracious, it's a central defender who is quite good. Um, they will not only miss this game, but they will miss the next game as well. So that could be a bit devastating loss for Luton Town. Let's see if we can get some substitutions in here. Let's get Johnny Vegas in. Uh, Bob Mortimer looks a little bit on the fatigue side, playing confident. I'm going to make probably most of our changes here. Let's get Joanne McDowell. Let's get a, you know, um, uh, John, <laughs> Luke McGregor. And then don't really have any other strikers. Oh, that's because John Kearns. Okay. Um, I think we're good here. You know what? Just because I do not need a red card as well. Let's do that and see what happens here. Luton Town, if they score here, I'm going to lose my freaking mind because they are down a man. They should have no reason at all to be on the attack here. We should be in total control of this, and if we can, getting a second goal here would be absolutely superb. May Martin now tries to find Emma City. Can no real help there. City just kind of working around. A ball that looked like it might have been a foul, but no call there. Perkins manages to re regain control of it. Napath now tries to find somebody. Cannot. And Luton Town are going to look to counter here again with just 10 men. And Luton Town just barely misses. Desiree Birch makes a fantastic save to keep it 1-0. And again, a, a second goal here would be a would be fantastic, but it appears we are not the ones that are looking to score here. As Luton Town have seemed to have had many of the offensive opportunities so far. Johnny Vegas with the ball now, getting it out to Luke McGregor. See if we can get something going offensively here. No, that is so poor, and that is a oh, that is absolutely awful. That is so bad. The worst possible point in the game. Is that Vegas? That's McGregor. That's McGregor. That's everybody. That is that whole side. McGregor's coming off. I I cannot believe what I just witnessed. You're done, my friend. 
oh, you want to make a difference? You know what would have made a difference is not screwing that up because now we've lost our advantage. I, I, it just, that could not have been, that could not have happened at a worse time. This is literally the worst possible thing that could happen. I think the worst, the, the best, like the, the worst possible scenario in my head was like, okay, we're up 1-0 going into the second leg. No, the worst possible scenario is really screwing it up. Can I talk to some of these people? I'd love to t Oh, I can't talk to Johnny Vegas. Well, you want to know why? Be furious. I want to talk to Luke McGregor. There you go. They're going to learn not to do that again because I'm going to tell them not to do that again. Luke McGregor is going to get torn a new a new one right now. So give me a second to show that to you because I'm sure he'll be like, uh, I played actually quite well. Uh, thank you very much. Where's Luke McGregor? Yeah. Is this the worn player? Mm, okay, he took that better than I thought it would. That's kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping for like a, oh, I played just fine. I don't know what you're talking about, but it is what it is. All right. 1-1 going into the second leg. We are away. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll bring you back for the next game here in just a moment. All right, round two. Same lineup as before. Well, kind of. I did bring in Nish Kumar. And um, let's just say that Luke McGregor, I think Ursula Carlson deserves your spot. No offense, Luke McGregor. You'll never... Play for this team again from that mistake. Uh, Desiree Birch did pick up an injury. I decided to give injections to get through one more game. I know it sounds terrible, but Desiree Birch has just been so good for us. I mean, that 7.4 rating does not lie in terms of how good Desiree Birch has been for us so far this season. So I really want to make sure that Desiree Birch gets in goal for at least this game. I don't know how it's going to work for the next game. It did say, I think, like four to six weeks, something like that, from the hamstring injury. So... I don't know about the next game. I think the next game is only a week away from this. But regardless, this is, I think, our best opportunity to win. So there's our lineup. And, uh, you know, let's go. Because, again, what's the worst that could happen today? We lose, and, and we move on with our lives, and we do the absolute best that we can. So, you know what? I have faith in you. I have faith in you, and I have faith in you. Don't pick the wrong button this time. <laughs> Learned my lesson from last time, but we are away today. Luton Town. We could play at Kenilworth Road. Does that sound right? Maybe they have a new stadium. I don't know. They may not be there anymore. Uh, I may have also completely butchered that name. I know that they've been, uh, they were a Premier League side last year, so it was very exciting to see the Premier League at a such a small venue. But who knows? Maybe that they've moved on. I do not know, but regardless it's 1-1 heading into the second leg here no away goal rule so we just need to really win this game whoever wins this match is going to be the team that ends up going to the final and playing i believe wolverhampton which are the team that ended up winning the other semi-final they ended up playing on saturday and i believe today is sunday ironically enough in game and in real life nonetheless it is a sunday i'm not going to mention which sunday because that would give things away it might have been offside are they going to do VAR? Oh, we have VAR at this. I would I would say offside. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How is that not offside? Check. Okay, we don't get we don't see the line. I think he was offside, but VAR said it wasn't. Can I get a Can I get a replay of that? Can I can I just how do I do this? Oh, forget it. <laughs> I guess it's not even worth my time. We'll just assume it was fine. I, I'm calling BS, but it is what it is. We're down 1-0. Again, you know, keep the... <laughs> Understand that this is a, a surprise. It's a... It's a, just an honor to be here, and it's kind of the mentality I think we've gone with the whole season is we're just we're proud to just be a part of all of this. It's got us pretty far, but you know when you're so close to the target and lose, come on. I mean, bad passes are one thing, but just sitting there waiting for the ball to come to you is not how you play soccer. 
attack the ball. And that is not what's happening here. They're attacking us. They get a second goal here. I think we're done. I think we are done. Good job, Desiree Birch. I think it was over the top of the net, but... Shouts, we're going to demand more. Oh, I probably shouldn't have pressed that. Kumar in the box. To begin that oh, that was an interesting take on it. I mean, all that had to do was be on net. That keeper was just like, yeah, I'm going to just run the other way. Not going to actually goal keep, but... Yeah, I know we're not shooting. We're not getting opportunities. I think we may need to go to a more attacking mentality towards the second half, but we may not get an opportunity to get there. I don't know. We'll just kind of have to wait and see how this plays out. Luton are a much stronger team than us. But I go back to that uh, I go back to that last game if we don't allow that goal if that accidental goal that uh, goal where we were up by a man that goal where a, a poor back pass allows for that to happen god dang it okay seriously berate the entire team we go to a positive mentality Kumar's done I mean okay Kumar, you're the reason why we're losing. I keep telling myself, don't ever play him again. And I go against my word. And every time I do that, it's it's terrible. I mean, I, I guess I'm responsible for all of this. And I'm, I'm going to lay into him. It'll be fun. Fun for the whole family. Individuals. Oh, I can't talk to Nish Kumar. Well, that's unfortunate because I would love to absolutely tear him a new, you know what? All right, let's start the second half. If we can get two goals here, I'll, it would be a, a miracle. Um, but again, we just, um, I just think we kind of ran out of gas. You know, that, that late goal at the end of the last game just, it just killed us. It just absolutely killed us. I mean, we're not completely out yet. We get a goal now. We're right back in this, but... Mortimer, Kearns, get anything City? Can you get on that? Nope. Oh, God, that would have been it. That should have been it. But, yeah, the, the late goal at the end of the last game, it just, it just sucked the wind out of everything. We had such good momentum. And to think that we could have scored again, right? I mean, we were up by a man. We, we they, they were... They had a red card and uh, had somebody sent off. And A, we couldn't take advantage of it. We couldn't keep them from taking advantage of it. They were down a man and managed to score against us. And oh my God, you've been out there for two minutes. That's why I cannot have nice things. Who else is going to get injured in the next two seconds? Oh, God. Oh, Mortimer. Oh, no, you're not going to attack that. <sighs> well, it was fun while it lasted. Playoffs are going to be hard. We knew they were going to be difficult. Luton are fine just chucking the ball back and forth, killing off the last 60 minutes of this game. I mean, if they get another one, it's, I mean, it is definitely done. That's in the back of the net. Yeah. Absolutely did not show up today at all. You can come off. What do you mean no more subs? Oh, all my stoppages have been used. God, I hate that stupid rule. We'll just let this play out. Uh, in the meantime, just, uh, you know, how's it going? How are things going? Things are going well. Um, you know, start off school year. Things are going well. Teaching, teaching the kids. So it's good. It's good. Hey, don't come out and get that or anything. Just sit there and act like an idiot. That'll count because offside rule doesn't count against Luton. Oh, hey, it does. Are they actually going to show the line this time? Or are we just going to... Oh, hey, we actually get to see the line. We didn't get to see it last time because offsides, you know. <laughs> Question mark. Oh, boy. Like I said, we'll just round this out. I'm just going to state things that are on my desk. I've got a, uh, a remote control. I've got a microphone. Some little things to control the sound in the microphone. An Xbox controller. My computer. My mouse. Uh, I've got an iPhone that's here. Um, some water. Hydrate so you don't dehydrate. That type of thing. Oh, that's good stuff. Um, yeah. 
Got a cat sitting on the couch. That's lovely. That's lovely. Uh, four nil. It'd be a long bus ride home because uh, we're not taking. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're taking. No, we're not even taking the bus. It's a long walk home. Everybody's walking home. I mean, it isn't super far, but everybody's walking home. And I can't wait to tear these guys a new one. Oh, that'll be fun. Dressing room. Throws water bottle. Yeah. I think I have a right to be a little upset. We didn't do all things we wanted to do. Aggro defeat. I thought we were awful. I mean, we were. We were pretty. I mean, we were bad. That was bad, <laughs> to say the least. But, you know, that's the reality of the situation. Yep, we got defeated. Tarbuck injured. You little, I mean, you were on the pitch for, I mean, can we get it? I don't even, I don't really want to look at the last game because it's kind of sad, but. Also, was that first goal? Let's see, Lisa Tarbuck, 72nd minute. When did I bring Lisa Tarbuck on? Do I have that information? Will it pop up with that? I don't know. There's probably a way to figure this out. I'm just not educated enough to figure uh, match stats, player stats. Four minutes. Wow. Four whole minutes. Bravo. <laughs> Four minutes. And that's, all, that's all it took to, God, to do what? To sprain your ankle. I mean, I could, I could be out there for more than four minutes and not sprain my ankle. I mean, it's not entirely true, but it might be. I don't know. All right. So here's the deal. We're going to need to figure out what we're going to do with this team. What? How is that required of me? I'm sorry. What? Reach the Skybet playoffs final. Yeah, I failed that because I. Look at these. These two things don't go together. Attempt to avoid relegation, but reach the playoff final. I mean, I want to uppercut Ben Morley. <sighs> What I was saying is that we're going to come back and we're going to go through the season review and then I'm going to try to sign some players and make this team better. Not that this team was bad, but I think we can get better. If I actually go back to the season preview, we were like 450 to 1. We managed to get up to 250. Now, the fact that we finished up here on 250 to 1, <laughs> that says a lot about what we've accomplished this season. Don't expect the same thing from next season, but I mean, hell, Luton Town were 25 to 1. They made it to the playoff final. Goodness gracious. Sorry, this is running a little long. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully not too much because we lost. But if you did, feel free to like, subscribe if you want to see more. Taskmaster FC. We're going to keep bringing in Taskmaster players. I think I've got 60 names left in the database that I need to get into the team to try to get us to the Premier League and beyond. Maybe a Premier League win, Champions League win. We'll just see how far we can go with what we've got left. But I will see you very soon. Thanks so much. And we'll see you later. Bye, everybody.